This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Chrono Trigger for the SNES. Last time we made it through the forest maze here, and we're at the Reptite layer now. Chasing the Reptites trying to get back our stolen gate key. Alright, this place is a little different here. This first part has a little quirk to it. These guys will um, walk around and eventually they'll burrow into the floor like that guy is. And that'll make a hole. You have to fall through these holes to progress. But they can dig the holes in different places and depending on where you fall through, it'll lead you to a different area below. And there are certain treasures you can only get by falling into a certain hole. So, um, first, actually I think the far right ones over here are a little more um, rare, so let's take this one first. You can go back up and um, yeah, go through it again to get everything. I'm probably gonna try to do that here, just because I do wanna try to get all the treasure. So you can see, Looks like there's another room down there. There's one to the bottom left. There's one to the upper left. I'm in the upper right, it seems like, although that hole I went through was pretty close to the bottom, I thought. Oh well, let's fight these guys here and get that treasure. Got evil weevils and fly traps. Actually, let's check out some of our new techs. Got a Rolo kick for Ayla there. Don't think... Well, we haven't showed off the drill kick. Let's do that here. Kind of combines that. Robo has a Robo Tackle we haven't shown off yet. Got a mid ether there. We go through this hole, that's the only one here. You can see there's a treasure over there. And there's another room over there, so we also have options here for ways you need to get to this floor. Ah, I think I understand why that Max Cyclone wasn't working the other time I tried to use it. It's one that's based upon the enemies being, um, really close to you. We haven't done Spin Kick either, though, so let's do that. Basically, it's like robo trucking a at the enemies. So, next time I get in a fight with an enemy close to us, I'll try to show off that Max Cyclone. I remember right, that one is a pretty cool animation. Got a ruby vest. So if we hadn't traded for all the ones we needed, could have picked up an extra one here. Alright, now we got a bigger room and we got a bunch of reptites running around. There are some of them guarding chests here. And then we got a rock helm. Yeah, I'll just attack regularly.
All right. So yeah, basically it's all the guys running around in the open part of the room and then the two guys guarding the chests. And they'll summon these other guys here. And this guy, the Megasaur, you're gonna wanna hit him with lightning because that'll decrease his defense dramatically. Yeah, see, it says he's shocked. And it doesn't last forever. Eventually it'll wear off, so you might have to use it again if you don't take him out fast enough. Ah, yeah, see, he revived from it. We still did some damage there, but it wasn't nearly as much. There's a full ether. I think we had one of those yet. But yeah, it restores 60 MP, so double the mid. I know it says full, you would kind of think it would mean that it completely fills it up, but no, not quite. Another one of these fights with a Reptite and a Mesosaur. Megasaur, I mean. Actually, I don't know if I've shown off Halo's Kiss. But yeah, that's it. And yeah, I know, she just kissed herself, apparently. Okay, and the only way out of this room is over here. We got a winged ape, which we've already seen. And then we got a new an enemy, the shiitake. Which is also an actual type of mushroom. Before we saw the hetakes. And see that winged ape is countering by throwing the mushroom guy at us. Then he runs away. Yeah, there's nothing down there. We can head up here, though. I'm gonna go ahead and heal us up a little bit, though. Two shiitakes here. Alright, here's the max cyclone. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Chrono just pulls out his sword and Robo holds him by the feet and spins him around. Alright, we do have a cave off to the left here, and this is actually where we're going to go to get back to the beginning, so we can try to get the rest of the treasure. If you go forward, that would just lead you farther into the cave here. But yeah, we got some rope ladders leading up to get us out of here. I don't think there's anything else in there. Here we got just one winged ape. Got a nice counter in there from Chrono too that time. Makes it go a little faster. Alright, so now we're back right at the beginning. I'm just going to take this one this time, the one that starts out here. 
And yeah, see, this does drop us into a different room. No treasure here. I'm not sure. I think if you wait long enough, these guys will dig a different hole in here, too. Well, for now, let's just fight them and we'll take the hole that's already there. But yeah, anyway, though, you can see that if you just take the, um... Take the hole that's already there, you're gonna miss all the treasure, unless you come back through. Or all the treasure on this floor, at least. And there's no treasure on this floor either here. Right, there we go. Another level up for Ayla. Let's keep going down here. So yeah, this would just take us back to this room now, so... I couldn't remember if there was any treasure that way or not, but I only saw there wasn't. I actually tried to avoid this one, but it wouldn't let me get past him. Haven't used as much of um, Robo's magic here, so go ahead and heal up with him here this time. There's a nice critical hit. And let's go back to the beginning again. Now these battles that I've already fought, if I can, I'll just bypass them. Now let's wait and see where they dig their holes this time. Um... Let's take our chances on that one and see where that goes. Now, this goes back to the same place. And it's actually not going to let me go down that hole without fighting him. I thought maybe that one would be far enough south, but not quite.
Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, I was pretty sure they'll make me fight this guy, too. Those winged apes have quite a bit of HP. Let's see if I can't get past him. Wouldn't let me go in the door without alerting him. Try taking out the mushrooms first this time. That worked out a little better. Like I didn't counter attack every time after they were gone. See if I can get one of these other guys to dig farther down here. I'm not 100% certain if it's completely random or if you can kind of, you know, influence where they're going to dig. Try that one on the right. I kind of have a feeling that's going to lead me into the same place I went the first time through. This guy would dig a little farther south here. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. I'd like it to be a little farther to the left, but let's try it out. Yep, there we go. Got a different one. Got a mid ether there. And I think they'd probably make me fight these guys anyway, so. Go ahead. This is another case where they drain life from the other enemies. That flytrap should be almost dead now, too.
Okay. There's another treasure in this one. That should do it. Add attack and volt bite. Add a full tonic. And that's a 500 HP, so that's a pretty good one too. What's she get next? She gets rock throw in 194. This should take us back down to the big room with the Reptites. Yep. need to go back up for one more try. I think that should be all we needed to do to get all that treasure. I wouldn't necessarily be that worried about getting all of these treasures, but I did want to try to make this as close to um, as much complete as we can. This one is very far to the bottom right here. I hope this is good enough. No, nope, it's the same one we had before. I don't know what it... Yeah, apparently these guys can dig on this floor too. We heard that, so let's maybe wait and give these guys a chance here and see if one of them will dig. And if not, after this, I'm just going to keep going um, just to keep things flowing here. And just be aware that there is this other treasure to get here. If I don't, if I'm not able to get it. Maybe at some other point in the game I can come back always too. Once these battles are probably easier and I can finish these guys off in a hit, one hit or something like that.
Because I at least I think this is an area you can come back to later. I don't think it gets closed off. Say he should be finishing that guy off there pretty soon. There we go. A pretty good one for tech points. When this guy drains life off of that fly trap, though, it kind of makes the battle take a lot longer because the animation just takes a little bit of time. Still not bad. These battles are pretty quick in this game. Also, when I come back to get that treasure, I'll probably do it off screen until the point where I get to the point um, where I get the right hole, and then we'll just clip that in. I should have been attacking the mushroom guys first. Yeah, actually, why don't we go ahead and go off our new Volt Bite here. Yeah, Chrono strikes Ayla with lightning, and then she goes and picks some ass. That's a pretty good one. It took 800 off of that wing, Dave. All right. Now, finally, we'll keep on going here. See what else is going on here. A couple more reptites and a megasaur. We also have just the cat attack to show off. For a single tech, that's a pretty powerful one. Alright, and after them, you, after you beat them, you get a save point here. Go 
ahead and use a shelter. Also, we picked up a power meal at some point. I don't remember where that came from, but uh, it says you recover from question mark. Not sure if I remember completely what that does. Hmm. Anyway, we'll drop a save there. And I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. So next time we'll go ahead, go ahead and finish up this layer here. But remember, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.